Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina. Before we get started today, a big shout out to PJ. Hope you have a great year at Lake Forest this year. Well, I'm going to be reviewing a shave soap today that I've been waiting quite some time to receive. Uh, it is the new Vegano from Abate y la Mantilla. This is a soap, one of four that I've received, that is being produced in collaboration with Chung Fung Sing a very well-known and very well-respected uh, Italian soap maker. There are a couple interesting things about this soap, um, which I'll go into in just a moment, but let me first talk about the packaging. I have received all four for review. Uh, they are very well done. The packaging starts off with this sort of pressed paper cardboard box. And as you can see, if I can get that up in the right way, every box has on it this delightful Italian flag ribbon, as well as a different colored wax seal for that ribbon with the other four letters for Abate y La Mantilla. Very, very nicely done packaging. Just shows you the name, obviously, on the box. You know what's what. Of course, the label shows you, but one thing to be aware of, by the way, that these, this box is packaged in a way where the soap is uh, packed inside, completely compressed inside a, a mountain of very small, very finely shredded paper. So just be careful when you open this. If you're too enthusiastic and rip it open your excitement, paper is going to go flying everywhere. So just a, a word to the wise, be careful when you open it. Packaging, uh, so far, very cool. So the first one I'm going to be reviewing, and I have all four to review, is I'm going to start off with this one, which is the Vegano. This is a carrot and lettuce uh, scented soap. Actually, and I'll go over the scent in just a moment. Um, but there are a couple of things to talk about the soap. First of all, let me show you what it looks like. I've already been scooping some samples out for people as well. So, the soap, um, there's something, you know, sort of very different about this soap. Of course, yes, it is being made in collaboration with Chung Fung Sing, which, as we all know, makes very high quality um, soft Italian soaps. But the difference for these soaps is that um, the manufacturer uh, actually owns and operates a saffron farm in Tuscany. And what they've been doing is actually using the saffron pistol uh, and they've been soaking that in a brine for months, apparently, and then using that extract as part of the saponification process. So if you look carefully at the label, it says over here, shaving soap, and then it says, saponificato con zafferano, saponified with saffron. Now, the saffron is actually part of the soap making process. It is not something which is being added in after the fact. So that does make this really a little bit different. And we'll talk about that in just a moment as we go through and lather it. Yes, this first scent is carrot and lettuce. And that is sort of merged with an additional perfume. So when you smell the soap, what you get is a, is a mix of what smells like freshly chopped lettuce and maybe some freshly peeled carrots, along with a very nice, light, perfumey scent. And it has a, a light vegetal tone throughout. It is a little bit sweet. It is a little bit perfumey, but you definitely get a scent, uh, you know, a sort of a scent profile of the lettuce and carrot, and it smells really pretty good. A nice, light, kind of fresh scent. I'll be lathering that up in just a moment from the Captain's Choice brush loading bowl, because I don't lather inside the bowl. Okay, today I'm going to be shaving with a longtime favorite, which is the Razor Rock Baby Smooth. Now, of all the Razor Rock razors I've owned, and that's been quite a few, I have to say, this may well be my favorite. Yes, I love the Stealth Slant, but the head design there still obviously has its issues just because of the size. But this razor just works so exceptionally well for me, and I would love to see this razor come back, sort of produced in larger volume for people to be able to buy again. This was a fantastic razor. Love this thing. Today's brush. Well, it's going to be the Samog Owners Club Bore. Beautiful brush, works fantastic with this soap. So I have some, uh, just a, uh, some of the soap scooped out, pressed into this Captain's Choice bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and just re-wet the brush a little bit and start loading the brush. Um, I've done this with a relatively dry brush in almost every case, simply because as soon as you begin loading it, you get this really immediate lather. And this brush is really quite dry. I've really just given it a good, a good shake. It's been soaking for a good, good 10 minutes maybe. But you can see what's already happening in there. Let me give this, and I'm really going to give, you know, good load on the brush. Don't underload, no reason to. Uh, 
I'm going to go out on the limb and say, by the way, that if you like the bow lather, you're going to love this soap. I've done a couple palm lathers, um, and as you can see, what's happening inside the bowl is already really starting to come together. Soap has been exceptionally easy to lather, and the lather has been very, very good. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. You can see what's happening. I'm just loading the brush right now. I'm not building a lather in there. All right, that looks like that maybe will be plenty, but I'm not going to waste what's inside the bowl. All right, and that is just, just from loading the brush. You can see what's already happening with that lather. Now, saffron, saffron's you know, long been reputed to have a number of medicinal or beneficial effects, including, for example, reduction of menstrual cramps, which luckily I don't suffer from, but of course, obviously many people do, and also supposed to have beneficial qualities for your skin, including reducing irritation or inflammation. Yeah, the scent on the soap stays intact as you lather it up. Really a very nice, light, fresh scent. Don't be put off by the fact that it says lettuce and carrot because the scent is really quite nice. Oh, that just went flying off. All right, I'm gonna add a bit of water. I have quite a bit of soap loaded, so I'll just drip some water on there. Yeah, the palm lathers I did, the lather was just unbelievable, fantastic. Yeah, smells good, feels really good on the face, easy to lather. Uh, I think the soap can definitely take a lot of water, so don't skimp. Make sure you're getting a nice, sort of sleek, wet, not too heavy. There we go. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. That's fantastic. Very, very nice. Really easy to lather. Just look at how much lather is in the brush. All right. Let's go ahead and just get the, uh, the baby smooth wet. Now, the other thing I should mention, by the way, is that and I know this is going to be kind of hard to believe, but this is the 11th shave, maybe even the 12th shave on this Astra Superior Platinum. I put this in, I think was last Tuesday, and I've not changed it since. Still working exceedingly well. There was a couple shaves there where it was a little bit rough, and I just shaved through that, and now it'll just smooth again. Yeah, and this is one of those razors that, uh, just for me at least, just works. It just works so well. You have to hold the handle in a little bit more vertical than for many other razors, which to me feels more natural somehow. Beautiful, slick, easy lather. Just no resistance. Yeah, I can't really can't explain why this blade is still doing so well, but I'd certainly say the quality of the lather is not hurting at all. Yeah, these soaps come in four scents, and the four scents are really quite different. I've only opened up one other one, um, which I'll talk about not in two weeks, but probably in four weeks. I don't want to run through these all in one quick succession. Um, I've got a lot of other soaps to review, but I'll certainly be working through them in order. This soap is obviously white. The next soap up is a beautiful dark brown. Okay, 
rinse. Pass number two. Wow, I mean, look at that. Also, that lather, so much dripping on my hand. Lather has held together very well. Beautiful, soft face feel. Scent has stayed pretty constant throughout as well, so. If you're interested in a shaving soap that's going to give you the you know the pleasure of good lather and an enjoyable scent this is definitely the way to go you know it's always nice to see too you know somebody taking a bit of extra uh, extra steps in the presentation overall very high marks all right across the grain Now here's where I thought yesterday this blade, or actually on Friday because I didn't shave Saturday, I thought maybe this blade will be done, but nope. But not to worry though, today is the last shave with this blade. Switching to another razor. Alright, gently across. Very good slickness on this, so good protection. As you saw, easy to lather. I've used the bar brush and the synthetic brush to create palm lathers, and I've been using the uh, the bar brush for the uh, for the two weeks I've been shaving with it. Very very happy with the results. Yeah, I gotta say though, on the uh, on the lifespan of this blade, it actually does sound different than when I first started shaving with it. And as always, Baby Smooth just offers a, just such an effortless, easy, easy shave for me. Yeah, starting to tug just a little bit there in the upper lip. Wow, very quick, easy second pass. All right, let's rinse off for pass number three. The soap, by the way, rinses very easily and clean. So, you know, some of the soaps I've used recently, they're like really heavily, uh, really heavily fatted. They do leave a, a layer on your skin, which is also good, just depending on what you like. This is an all vegetable soap. You know, it's coconut oil, the saffron extract, vegan product, and it does rinse easily and clean very quickly. All right, let's just pull out some more of that lather. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I've been very, very happy with the performance of this soap. Uh, it's been a long time coming. You know, this has been. Uh, Something I believe has been working on probably for over a year, maybe longer. Wow, okay. And there's still still soap inside that brush. All right, against the grain. Yeah, very gentle, no pressure, just, just letting the blade and the razor do its work. I've also found that buffing with this soap, very easy, very effective. Second half. Yeah, soap is still very nice and slick. Good protection. It's really held together through the shave.
Yeah, for as many shades as I have on this blade, combination of the razor and the soap is making this a very easy, you know, just a good high quality shave again. All right, almost done. Yeah, very, very, very happy with that. Soap is so easy to use. Really excellent slickness, good protection. That was just, sorry for that, just an uh, easy, easy shave. All right, let me go ahead and just uh, rinse off a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, that soap does rinse off scheme of things very easily. And that's it. I mean, obviously this piece is stuck in your ear, it's just hard to get. Still plenty inside that brush. I could probably do a fourth pass, no problem. Um, and let me just show you the, uh, <laughs> the lathering bowl. Tons, and as you saw, I just didn't, uh, didn't load for that long. All right, so let me just dry off for a moment. Now, given the, uh, the lettuce and carrot and the sort of the, the vegetal scent, I could of course use the Mirsol, the Formula C, which is itself kind of a lettuce base, but I'm not going to do that because in fact the, uh, the additional sort of scent profile, the perfume side of the, uh, of the shave soap is a very nice, light, classic shave scent. So what I'm going to do today is use the Mirsol Aftershave Blue which is a very lightly mentholated and just another kind of clean, classic barbershop scent. I'm just, I'm not, you know, I, I know people, barbershop kind of means a wide variety of things, um, but that in my mind, that's sort of what this smells like. One other thing about these bottles, one is the shape and the design are fantastic. The other thing is that the regulator works really well. So you can just easily control how much comes out. I've had problems in the past with some other bottles where that just initially just too much comes out. You have to hold your finger on top. All right. Now, the other thing I will say while I'm putting on the aftershave is that for two or three days in the last two weeks of shaving with this soap, I have not used any aftershave or aftershave balm just to test out the post-shave skin feel. And honestly, the post-shave skin feel is fantastic. It is not drying, it's not tight, it felt no heat. Um, and honestly, my skin felt good enough just to leave it at that with the soap. Now that may not be your experience, but for me, having shaved with it, having just rinsed my face after the shave, no aftershave, no aftershave balm, skin feels very good. No heat, no tightness, none of that kind of weird, I really kind of washed my face in soap. Post-shave skin feel was also very, very good. Just that today's a little bit hot and I'm gonna enjoy the uh, bit of the menthol cooling. And the scent of the aftershave actually goes very well with the um, with the scent of the, the Vegano soap. All right, well, holy smokes. That is another smooth <laughs> irritation, just a fantastic shave. <sighs> Nothing more satisfying than that. Just a wonderful Sunday morning shave. All right, well, let's recap. Number one, Razor Rock Baby Smooth. This is a three-piece razor. As you can see, the blade angle is really quite curved. Um, blade control in this razor is very, very good. It makes for a very easy, efficient, smooth shave, very easy to use. As I said before, I'd love to see this one come back into mass production if there was an option, because I think people would be all over this razor. The brush for today, Samoog Owner's Club Cherry Monster Boar Brush. I keep getting questions about, do I like Badger more versus than Boar? No, I'm a big fan of the Boar brushes. And then, finally, the Abate y la Mantilla saffron-based vegano, so carrot and lettuce, perfume scented, absolutely fantastic. So I really, really enjoyed using this. I have three more to go through, which I'm really quite looking forward to. 
excellent product. So far, the performance has been stellar. Post shave face feel has been fantastic, easy to lather. I think all four scents are going to be quite different from one another. And I think that the saffron based one, which is actually the saffron based soap base, including saffron, is a wonderful yellow saffron looking color, which is gonna be fantastic. That'll be the last one that I review. First one out of the four, Vegano. Fantastic soap from Abati La Mantilla in collaboration with Chung Fung Sing. Excellent job, very, very well done. Really quite enjoying that. Well, oh, let's not forget. I mean, you just saw it a second ago, but here it is again. As in for the aftershave, the Mir Sol aftershave blue, lightly mentholated, a nice light, kind of a classic clean scent. <sighs> well, with that said, let me just say once again, thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate the fact that you're taking the time to watch these videos. Please leave, as always, comments and questions against the video as you like. I try to get back to those as quickly as I can. And until next time, goodbye.